I'm Luke Muller. I'm 19 years old. I'm from born and raised in Florida, and I go to Stanford University. Um, I made the transition into the fin because, first of all, because of size, it's getting a little bit too muscular. And uh, but once I got into it, it was really great how some guys came together, and I just started making contacts. And you know, guys were like, "Oh, there's boats here, there's boats there." And uh, a friend of mine named Forrest Gay lent me his boat, and um, I began to train and really enjoyed. I know there's 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 a dynamic between you know finesse and power and strength but you know details and I really enjoy the dynamic of it you know people say that it's just a brute boat but I really think that there's a lot of aspects of it that are really uh, detail oriented and you know finesse points so that really uh, makes me excited uh, well my claim to fame is <laughs> whatever is uh, that I was the youngest US national champion in 2013 in Santa Cruz um, I trained a lot in Fort Lauderdale with the Lauderdale Yacht Club and they had an exceptional youth program there. Um, it's the only reason I am who I am um, and the, like my sailing knowledge is from there. Um, so I trained there, I sailed two years in the laser before going back into the radial and getting really light for the youth worlds and I went to youth worlds in Tavira and then uh, now I just sail in uh, for Stanford University college sailing. I do some laser events there as well as 420 and FJ sailing and then I sail fin on my own time. Well the crowdfunding would help us to travel internationally because most of our competition is in Europe and internationally from coming from the states. Um, on top of that you know discussion of having a support group of boats or something that travel with you know people that need it um, would really give you know, Americans the opportunity to to make that, you know, international competition happen and work out. I mean, I have long-term goals in the fin. I want, you know, Olympic dreams. Um, and, you know, it starts now, so, yeah. Um, to be honest, I, um, I'd like to win a gold in Tokyo. Um, the way that I'm structured to, you know, make that happen now is to, I'd like to continue in university and have that um, as a foundation for, you know, long-term life. But um, while I'm there, I'd, you know, sail as much as I can, connect with the resources we have domestically in the States. Um, so training with Caleb and the Canadians. And then every time that I can, hopefully with the resources in the future that I'll have, um, to be able to come to Europe and for international events and competition and training. Um, spend my entire summer training full time and then after university when I graduate in the, uh, the spring of 2018 I'd like to go full time and train for Tokyo. My support mostly for the Silver Cup here has been coming from St. Francis uh, Sailing Foundation. Um, once I moved over to the Bay Area and gone to school there, I really connected with some folks there and they helped me out a lot to get connected with people of influence and particularly the Sailing Foundation there. And the club has been really supportive um, both logistically and financially and I'm really excited for the future with them. When you're max effort and you're really trying hard and all the training comes, you know, to uh, is all worth it. That's that's really a special moment, and I like that. Um, and the fin allows that, allows you to you know get on the other side of tired and to really explore yourself while in competition. You know, there's nothing better than a victory after being exhausted. And uh, yeah, the fin can definitely do that.